guys and girls. In this video, we're going to take a look at the best mini ITX cases. I've made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion, and I've listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best mini ITX cases on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Thermaltake Core P1. If you're looking for a smaller case but still want to show off all your shiny new PC components, this is definitely the case for you. There is loads of space to work with, and it is an incredibly sturdy case, sharing the same design as other Core P cases, just like the Core P3 and P5 series. P1 is all about showcasing what is powering everything. While you can fit a large GPU inside, this case and everything looks rather cool. Having all the main components out in the open does pose an issue regarding dust, since the case is open on all fronts. You'll need to have a can of air at the ready for regular bursts to help clear anything that settles across the PC. There's also a problem with the airflow, especially if you don't use an AIO cooler, since there's nowhere to attach case fans. You'll be relying on whatever you can install to write off the motherboard, which may result in higher temperatures on your passively cooled motherboard chipset. Outside of this, the P1 is all cool. Number 9. Cooler Master Elite 110 While the Cooler Master Elite 110 may seem an understated option, you may be overlooking this beauty because of its affordable price tag. Sure, you may not have any RGB lighting or glass panels, but it is instead a simple, effective, and budget-friendly chassis. Cooler Master puts some emphasis on cooling and overall compatibility. This case has plenty of air flows, thanks in large part to the vast mesh front panel. It also supports full ATX power supplies, can hold a 120 millimeter radiator up front, and can even contain larger GPUs. So if you're after a case that won't be the centerpiece to your setup, this is a solid offering from a reliable case builder. Coming in number eight, Silverstone DS380B. Building your own NAS requires plenty of drive bays and little else, which is precisely what Silverstone offers with the DS380B. The chassis houses a total of 12 drive mounts with eight hot swappable 3.5 or 2.5 inch and four fixed 2.5 inch drives. There are plenty of options for installing storage, depending on what you'll use the NAS for. The front panel shield helps prevent dust and other unwanted objects from entering the unit but it also suffocates the drives slightly with less airflow. Cooling is a little hit and miss, especially considering there are three 120 millimeter fan mount points. It's also pretty expensive. Coming at number seven, Fractal Design Node 202. When you're on a mission to build a gaming PC that's more powerful but smaller than a console, that's no substitute for the Fractal Design Node 202. It's a 10-liter chassis that can fit full-size graphics cards inside and keep you on budget with its $145 price tag with an included 450-watt power supply, though a $70 price model without a power supply is also available. There are only two mounting points for two 120mm case fans, but they'll also have to be low profile and the same goes for your CPU cooler. You can forget about the liquid cooling your CPU. However, even without any additional fans, Node 202 offers plenty of ventilation for the GPU and CPU areas, which are also protected by dust filters. Better yet, it has a very clean, modern aesthetic that wouldn't look out of place in your home entertainment center. Number 6. Lian Li TU-150 Going with a smaller mini ITX PC case to help you save room is nice, but what if you also help make your PC more portable? That's exactly what the Leon Lee TU-150 sets out to do as a relatively compact chassis with a retractable carrying handle. This case is a bit larger on the mini ITX Spectrum, but it has enough internal space to let you install an SFX power supply and a triple slot graphics card. Despite its small size, there's plenty of places to move air in this chassis as there are mounting points for two 
120 millimeter fans on the bottom. Then another spot on the front and back to the case. You won't go wrong choosing this one. Coming in at number five, Razer Tomahawk. When it comes to RGB lighting, few companies do it better on their PC accessories than Razer. So it's time to get excited because Razer now has the Tomahawk ITX case to let you go mini in size, but major in color. You'll get support for Razer's Chroma RGB lighting effects on the bottom of the case, giving it a stylish underglow that'll fit right in with a wide variety of Razer mice, keyboards, headsets, or even Razer's monitor. The case may be small, but it still has room for a decently tall CPU cooler or even a 240 millimeter radiator for liquid cooling. You'll want to watch out for your graphics card length though, as you can only go up to 320 millimeters. But you will also have room for a thicker card that needs three expansion slots. Impressively, there's still room in this case for three 2.5 inch drives and Razer manages some strong port variety on the front panel. Coming in at number four, Fantex Evolve Shift. Fantex is an excellent creator of small and large form factor chassises alike, so it's no surprise that they managed to make their way into this list too. The Evolve Shift is another non-standard form factor, with this one being very tall and skinny. This case is designed to sit upright like a skyscraper, freeing up valuable desk space by making use of vertical space instead. However, while the case is attractive and cool looking, it's clearly designed more for aesthetics than performance. Additionally, it requires a bit more advanced planning than other mini ITX cases to make all the internal components fit correctly. However, as a result of that aesthetic centric design, the tower is a sight to behold. It's clad in tempered tinted glass and aluminum, which looks and feels so much more high quality than plastic. As long as you stay on top of your cooling solutions and double check your space requirements, this case shouldn't give you much trouble. Number three, Silverstone ML09B. If you need to go even smaller than what we've covered thus far, this Silverstone case is just what you need. It supports SFX PSUs, mini ITX motherboards, low profile GPUs, and that's about it. This case is more suited for home servers and NAS installs, allowing you to fit the PC almost anywhere in the house. Because the ML09B is on the super small end of case sizes, you won't find a large gaming GPU in this thing, nor will you be able to throw in an Intel Core i9 processor and call it a day. But for home servers and low power NAS setups, this isn't much of an issue. Coming in at number two, Rosewill Mini ITX Tower Desktop Computer Case. This is a reason why this case made it to this list. This case is a very sleek looking compact compartment that is matte black with a semi brushed front. Although this product is quite small, it can hold all your cards and drives easily. You can even find a few extra inches unused after installing all your essentials. It's very easy to work in, so you can manage your cables with ease. And there's even a small space in the front where you can tuck in wires. This compartment has round cutouts on the back for a cleaner and neater installation of the wires. The fan does not make any noise and is completely silent. This also makes the ventilation inside quite smooth. There is steady airflow from the case fan on top of the case to the bottom air filter. To summarize it, this is a great affordable option that has great ventilation and cable management and can also handle heavy power consumption as it is equipped with a 250 watt power supply. Number 1 NZXT H210i the NZXT H210i is one stunning PC case and should look familiar to anyone who's seen a case from the vendor before. The H210i is part of the same family of mainline cases and, as such, shares many design elements and features as the H510i and H710i, albeit at a much smaller chassis. What makes the H210i worth considering is the cooling performance without sounding like a jet engine, something that's difficult to achieve with smaller cases. There's also the fact that you can throw most GPUs into this case without issue. Yes, even those bulky Zotac amp. Extreme cards should fit just fine. Because of the better airflow and GPU clearance, you will be able to pick up a mini ITX case that's considerably larger than other options on the market. Though this depends on what you need to cram inside such a small form factor. If you want a case that looks the part and handles heat well, the H210i is your new best friend. 
That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best mini ITX cases in 2021. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.